Orchard Park, New York. The wait is over. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's week one of the National Football League. We'll see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Tua Tungabailoa in the Miami We are about Dolphins. 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener for the new NFL season as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Buffalo Bills. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, there's nothing quite like it. That feeling of beginning another NFL season, and these two squads, they're going to do just that in a moment. It's the marquee game of opening weekend, and off we go on a Sunday night on EA Sports. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Strong start by this defense. Third and short, they go with a run. Stonewall for no gain. I played for a guy who always talked about setting tones and meeting force with force. That felt like it on that play, didn't it? And they met it in a big way and won. What a great job by the defense. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. This week, such an important one for his entire offense, but for him especially. He wants to start this new season off strong. He's got big plans for this year. Wants him to be one where he finishes among the league's best while leading his team to the postseason. A strong opening week is a great start to that and can create momentum that carries over not just to next week, in the next few weeks as well. A rising tide raises all ships. And if he can start this season off strong, his offense will benefit. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga by Lowe. Rolling to his right. Good work on the scamper by Tonga by Lowe. It's a first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. 
You think about the great receivers in the game, what do they have in common? The ability to create separation in their routes. Whether it's a head fake, a sharp cut, selling a different route, the subtle bump, it's a tough skill to teach. And this is well done here to get open and pick up the first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Second down and six now. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back to back four yard runs. Now one. Hey, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone. That's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think that'll go into that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Boy, fingers crossed here. First quarter of a new season, already an injury. And while they attend to him, we'll step aside. Two and now on first down. And it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so they dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Two and to try again on second down. And then nearly an interception here on his opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Produces three, maybe quiets them just a bit, at least momentarily. Just a little, right? That's all you're asking for, right? Things just getting started. You know they haven't taken the momentum totally here, but at the same time, they like what they've done here in the early going. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. To the right side here caught by Kincaid. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Christian Wilkins there defensively for the stop. Now second and five. Allen. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw, it's Allen. Yeah, that will be incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. Now they'll search for a touchdown here on this go-around, first and 10. They fake the handoff, now Tua. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. Well, this is taken in, it's complete. 
It's a big play there for Miami. 41 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. To his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. He got 29 yards that time. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. They'll try one for it on first and goal. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. A great play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Dolphins had six to their lead. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead grows to 10-0. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. From the gun, it's Allen. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Now he's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. A big play there. 84 yards. And the Bills are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Pardon me, you know the real key is to stop being a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Here's Tonga Mailoa on first and 10. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. A well-executed 22-yard game. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. Under a minute to go, clock running in a back and forth first quarter of play. Tongue of Ilo on the throw on second down here. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 38 yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 38. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. 
Looking to pass to him. This will be caught. It's Waddle. Touchdown, Dolphins. Jalen Waddle, 34 yards. And the Dolphins are able to add on to that lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, it wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Sanders on for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. After one, 17-7 is our score. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it as we resume action. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Bills ready to take over. And CD, you know, sometimes you don't need those complicated game plans or the added wrinkles. I mean, last time, how you think about it, couldn't have been any simpler. One play, one pass, touchdown. I know those coaches put a lot of work into this game plan, but I don't think they mind possessions like that at all. They just saved those calls for this possession instead. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. At the 17-yard line. Now an option play on second down. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. And on this play, the read for the quarterback was the defensive end. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. Returnable here from the 38. It's a 45-yard punt, then eight on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Two in the Dolphins offense getting ready to take over once again. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and ten. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Back to the air on second down. Tug of Iloa. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. This defense has passed his first two tests by first and back-to-back incompletions. They know he's probably number 12 coming out third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people out of place. Flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to four. So he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Now Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. 
Now Allen throwing on second down. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. The Bills on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and nine. Here's Allen to throw it. That's caught by Kincaid working the middle of the field. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, they had a good chance to get off the field defensively there. If they could just wrap up, it's going to be a fourth down. But instead, they can't get him on the deck. And he allows them to pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Allen now looks to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Here's Allen. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. To the air, Allen. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. One thing they definitely like about this youngster is his motor. He is full throttle on each and every snap. Loves to get after the quarterback, and that has to feel good to him right there. His first career sack. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Back to throw. Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 34-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 34. Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Just need a yard here, second and one. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is what every back in the league is supposed to do, exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They run again on first down, Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. The kick by Bass is good. And they're back within a touchdown at 17-10. to so they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative. I, I was. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive, you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Jalen Waddle running out, and that means that the Dolphins ready for another drive on offense. He's up over 100 yards, has the touchdown. He's, <laughs> he's a big-time receiver in this league, so the question becomes, how do you limit him going forward? Well, you know the guy's trying to cover him. 
they haven't had a whole lot of success thus far. And, and while they will still accept the challenge, maybe you have to change your focus. You have to get after the quarterback a little bit, disrupt his timing. Because right now, it feels like pitch and catch. Make sure he's not able to have clear sight lines to him, and maybe that'll slow him down. Well, this is not the guy you want to let play pitch and catch. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. To about the 40-yard line. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Two are going to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Now this offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and ten. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. He'll come up now on second of a yard. Throwing now is Tonga Bailoa. Open man is Waddle complete. And Waddle going to have a Dolphins first down as the tackle made down at the 33. Now Tua. It's caught by OBJ. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. A six-yard pickup. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. Going right back to Beckham here, complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now a second and six. Tua sets up to pass it. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. That's Matt Milano firing in from his linebacker position. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit. He hit his first, now this from 43. The kick by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? 
the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And incomplete on the deep ball. This is certainly a team that is proven it wants to target its backs through the air defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. Five yards, now it's third and five. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. This was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swore and stopped them for almost no game. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This will be fielded at the 17. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Now both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. Let's we'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And he's going to be dropped following a pick up a seven past the 30 to the 32. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Allen. Taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. But we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it. There you go. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. Allen going to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be. And that will send them back to the drawing board. And again, it's Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 43. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 43. On play action, Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Come on, 
to throw. It's Allen. They'll go over the middle to Reed complete. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. On first down, Allen. And a throw right sideline is complete. And they do give it down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Allen to throw it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. The sack there by Bradley Chubb. The first and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Here's Allen. And he's going to go down. He sacked back at the 24. That will bring up fourth down and an 11-yard loss to Boone. Well, there's no doubt in my mind that he dreamed of this. How about this for your debut? Second sack in the opener. Yeah, it's great to get one. That's memorable. Two? Hello. Now, he dreamed about it. He thought about it. Did he ever expect it to happen? Probably not. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. He connected on his first, this from 41. The kick by Bass is good. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt, just the way you used to hit a partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. That was a nice goal. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Miami set to take over. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Throw right side here, going to be incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there. And now it's second down. From the gun, it's Tua. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Looking to pass to it. Incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers. And he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie. But that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. Two and a throw again. It's Hill, complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? Like any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag, something short and shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. 
Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. And now here's a carry heading left. And now the rookie's free. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A great effort there. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where he felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead now up to 14. A drive that time of six plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And now out come the Bills. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now Allen. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And guys, man, complete. Touchdown. A great play there. Already his second touchdown here this opening weekend. And the Bills are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they make. Speed limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. Where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. This taken in right around the goal line. And fighting down inside the 25. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. 107 yards rushing for him now to this point. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand. They're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your personnel that will work against a stack box and continue to move the ball? The offense on third down tonight. Taken in at the 22. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he'll find his man on the outside. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 
16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Firing quickly is Allen. That's complete. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. They run the counter with Cook. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Oh, no, he lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Do you remember in preseason when we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Here's second and ten. Hands it off out of the gun. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion and a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend that third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to get this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. So their first to punt on fourth as this one's away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it, and if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. On second down, Cook takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Allen now looks to throw. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Throwing now is Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. To the air, Allen. And this one's incomplete. Trying to get that to Zach Davidson. And it's third down and two. Allen off the play fake. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 40. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it in the double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. Here's Allen on first and ten. Out to the left here to Reed. And he's going to 
get this down near the 20-yard line. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Now Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Second and eight coming from the 19. Again, they'll throw with Allen. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Third down. Here's a run by Cook. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Allen, Cook. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. That's Deion Dawkins, the left tackle. Now first and goal. Throwing, Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. To throw is Allen. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Now Allen. That's going to be caught by Reed for the Bills touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Bulls are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. What a start to the season. This has been back and forth. All tied fourth quarter as the kick is away here. Taking it about the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now they set up the screen. That's good play. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive lineman. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield, and have the play to be successful. Now throw it first down there, but it's incomplete. Just over a minute to go in the football game. Second and 10. He completes it to Beckham. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 41-yard line. That catch for his career is number 589, so 11 away from 600, but it also right now ties him with Hall of Famer Fred Belitnikoff. And we remember Fred Belitnikoff well because of the way he went about his business in catching the football. And we're seeing something similar here. Someone who runs precise routes, has excellent hands, and knows how to get the ball to the end zone.
Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Throwing to him. This is caught by Waddle. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Now Tua on second down. They'll run it here. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. Here's Tua. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Sanders' kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. Allen and the Bills now. Down by a field goal, 24 seconds to go. This is only week one of the season, folks. Get strapped in as they come up here first and ten. Here's Allen. Wide open receiver complete. Able to get out across the 40 yard line. So a spectacular play to begin this drive. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, partner, that'll do it. You know, these week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation of fun with the night, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And partner, I love the words you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a one of those start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for Miami, it wasn't always pretty, but they do eke out the week one victory here by a field goal. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Foxborough to face off against the New England Patriots. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.